I am now here with both Ed and Steve, and we're going to introduce the last experimental character to you. It is the end of an era today, and we're going to be showing you all how to run the Atheist, whose ability reads, The storyteller can break the game rules, and if executed, good wins, even if you are dead. No evil characters. No, it's not called the Orthodontist. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's tickled me a bit there. <laughs> it's not a theist, it's an atheist. Um, so yeah, a lot to unpack there, but the, the long and short of it is um, you build a game with no evil characters, and as the storyteller, you attempt to, to some degree, simulate or uh, make it seem to the, to the players that it is possibly a game that has evil players in it, in a regular game with Blow on the Clock Tower. But importantly, you must leave the odd clue or two there to ensure that they actually stand a chance of guessing that it really is an atheist game. And then the players must agree to nominate and execute the storyteller. If they don't do that, they lose. If there is no atheist in the game and it really is a regular game of Blow on the Clock Tower and the storyteller is executed, the evil team wins. So in a, in a game that has an atheist on the script, evil are to some degree incentivized to pretend or bluff as the atheist. Uh, there is a lot more nuance to it than that. I kind of feel like you two should take over here because I'm easily the bronze medal winner in experience with this particular character of the three of us. Who wants to jump in? I mean, it's Steven's, Steven's brainchild. Yeah. I'm 100% <laughs> passing this. Fuck his way. <laughs> I feel like I've drawn the shortest, like the short straw here. <laughs> I was, I was happy for just like a a really cruisy easy stream and now i have to explain the atheist so oh, sorry steve <laughs> yeah no i mean no that's 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 basically it um it's it's a atheist is a really tricky a really tricky character uh, it's a really tricky character to run but it's a lot of fun as well because you can do anything you've always got the you're always asking yourself the question what do i want to do what should i do what can i do um the mm, the big thing I think for uh, for the evil team to remember is that uh, the storyteller, uh, the famous Ben Burns, uh, is very unlikely to give the evil team the atheist as a bluff. Uh, if you're evil, you already know that the atheist is not in place, so it's a very easy bluff because if you're evil, you you can always bluff the atheist because you know there's no atheist. Um, and if you're good, you have no clue. So we'll see how it goes. I think the, the main thing to keep in mind is that um, you probably shouldn't run an, an atheist game. Uh, you certainly shouldn't be messing with atheists unless you've got quite a lot of experience under your belt. And you have players who are experienced enough to be able to spot the nuances that, that show that we're in an atheist game. It's, it's of the... I think you probably both agree with me here that of, of all of the experimental experimental characters that we've shown off, this is probably the most high level, the the, the hardest to run and the hardest to play. Would you agree with that? I'd I'd say it's it's definitely one of the one of the hardest to run, but the 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 penalty of making a mistake or stuffing up is is reduced since since all the players are since all the players are good. Um. If you do something that kind of breaks the game, then what will probably happen is that all good players win, and that's that's not the end of the world. So it's um, that's a very it's good point, it's actually. certainly one of the yeah. yeah, it's not um yeah in a in a in a normal game you've got uh, two teams two teams relying on you to well to to run a smooth game and to treat each team fairly and if you um if you do make a make a whopper like showing the showing the showing the grimoire to the virgin um then then it can really make one team feel uh well it can make one team feel uh, exa exactly what you've done which is sort of unbalanced and balance the game but in an atheist game it's not a problem you can always everybody wins and then you can re-rack and try again so. All right, fair play. Yeah, well, um, speaking of an atheist game, we've got a really big decision to make now, lads. Um, it's our first show of the atheist. My instinct says we should put the atheist in, but also my instinct says that the player's instinct says that we would put the atheist in. So what do, what do we think? What do we think about that? I think I think you should totally do it because they will second guess it no end for this first game. 
And if you don't do it this first game, then they're going to be second guessing it every game from now on. Whereas if you do it now, the They'll next two games, the they yeah, could. Yeah. They could do nothing I'm, about. So yeah, I'm, if you atheist yeah. it this time, then I'm they can't. the same way. And I actually, in the in the, the chat on this Discord server, I deliberately typed out, oh, such a dilemma. Do I put it in or not? Just because I didn't want, I wanted them to think that there was definitely a dilemma there, which is very important. Everyone's saying vote, roll, roll, dice, coin toss now. We're just putting it in. We're putting it in. Uh, and you're all gonna All right. See it. <laughs> I, I, literally, I literally lost sleep over, over this question. Oh, that's nice. Cool. Oh, Steve. Probably, probably easy for you. Yeah, I lost like I lost like twenty minutes sleep. So. Um, have we only got eleven uh, players for this? You should have twelve. Who are, are missing are there not... from the list? Um, uh, so I've got Aero, Andrew, Bejbo, Cosmo. Uh, Bejbo. There we go. Uh, there we go. Does that look about right now. Um, I've actually can't see you at the moment. One sec. Uh, I've spelled his name wrong. I've called him Bejbo. Bajbo. <laughs> nice. There we go. Uh, uh, oh, cool. Dakota also prefers Miss Dakota as a name rather than just Dakota, if possible. Of course. Where are we? Where are you, Dakota? Uh, eight, eight o'clock. Um, yeah, you've got everyone. Um, awesome. It, in theory, I should bugger off and leave you two to it, but I'm happy to hang around if you're... Well, you're, you're, I thought you were going to run it with us. I can do. We want you to. <laughs> cool. I'll join I the party to. then. Oh, crap. I didn't mean to do that. Um, the characters. Okay, right. Okay, right, right, right. Okay, right. Here we go. Um, I've hit the random button a few times. We've landed on uh, Imp Spy Baron. Hang on a minute. What am I talking about? We're building an atheist game. Okay. <laughs> 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 That's a good start. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, let's put let's put all four of the night one rolls in because they're not going to expect that at all. Um, and then I think just a nice just a nice smattering of everything else, right? Yeah. Right, right here I've got um, recluse saint, and then washerwoman, librarian, investigator, chef, fortune teller, monk, raven keeper, virgin, mayor, atheist. What do you think to that? Yeah, that's pretty reasonable. I, I need to I need to share your screen, Ben. Um, uh, I, what you if you, if you open up Twitch, if you open up Twitch, Steve, I can drop you a link to Twitch. Oh, you can do that. Actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on it. <clears throat> uh, I'm about to DM it to you, Steve. Oh my God! I've hit the random button, and Nikki is the atheist. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> he literally said to me ten minutes ago, I bet I'm gonna be the atheist. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna think I did this on purpose. Alrighty. Okay, so um while you get that up, Steve, I'm gonna make some decisions. I think we're gonna have <clears throat> We're gonna have Dakota see Let's have Dakota see Ivy. The red herring. Let's show Ivy that either jams or Bejbo monk. Okay, now <clears throat> the Tapir. I don't suppose it really matters a great deal who we show Tapir as long as they see the recluse as one of them. I mean, you can you can choose to make them poisoned or drunk and tell them anything you like. <laughs> yeah. Of um, but we want to we want to build something that looks legit, right? Mm -hmm. That's that's the that's the plan. I don't know. You can always um, you can always do a double double up of a character. That um, that always looks suspicious. Ooh, what do you mean? Mm -hmm. Oh, you mean put two people in as the same character? Yeah. Oh, why did we not think of that? Why? Did, well, I say where well, you did think of it, Steve. Um, let's put two, let's put two let's put two mayors in. <laughs> All right, oh, dear. You're, you're no longer a washerwoman. You're a mayor. There we go. Top and bottom as well. We'll have a mayor off. Who's 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 gonna win? Aero or Ivy? All right. Um, I, is that all the calls that we need to make? Anything else you wanted to throw in there, Steve? Don't know. I 
I was thinking I was thinking about putting a slayer in, but it's it's often too obvious in an atheist game. If you make a slayer, if you if the slayer slays someone who's not the demon, for example, if the slayer slays the chef in an atheist game, you can actually make the chef die. But that's mm. these guys are a bit veteran that for that, I think, aren't they? Yeah, that yeah. does make it pretty obvious as an atheist. Virgin's good. Lots of information. Raven Keeper. Raven Keeper. We can just kill a, kill at night. Whenever yeah. we want. So so that's that's pretty good. Uh, Saint. Can we change Saint for something else? Yeah, absolutely. Why don't we throw the Slayer in and then we can decide whether or not we want to do that as and when. Yeah, sure. I mean, I've been, I'm have been i using my reminder tokens here, but in actuality, we don't we don't have to do that, do we? I mean, we can, and we probably, you know, for some things we might want to, so that we can keep track of stuff, but certainly the Red Herring token isn't necessary. How about how about we go? How about instead of um, how about instead of Slayer we go Undertaker because Undertaker should give us a huge opportunity to give false information pretty much whenever we want. Well done, Noel. You've been upgraded. Yeah. Okay. What do we reckon? We happy with that? Yeah, I'm happy with that. All right, awesome. Just want to point out, guys, that if you want to run two mayors in your uh, game of Blow on the Clock Tower, <laughs> you only have to buy two copies of the game. Um, although if you want to run three <laughs> mayors, you might have to get a third. Um, right, let's uh, let's start. Let's go. Um, you can hang around here if you like, Steve. Um, can you see the night phase cottages below us that all say cottage? In, in oh, you, have, you have to give me a minute. I'm a complete Discord. <laughs> sorry, That's all right. I was sorry. I'll yeah. I'll drag you with me. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. It along. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go and tell everyone that we're playing. So uh, yeah, you guys sit tight. That person is going to get. Oh, I... all right, talking? kids. Are you ready? Oh yeah. Okay. Hello. Hello. Define yeah. ready. I love I love trouble brewing. Introductory script. Great yeah, fun really, for everybody. Really simple. Yeah. Everyone's it's it's been, been a while since we just played Trouble Brewing on on stream. I think it's going to be a fun time yeah. for everyone. It's always yeah. great. Awesome. Nice. Right. Let's do this. Um, everyone goes to sleep. Here he is. Hello. Right. Everyone's in bed. Um, just had a really good suggestion actually from chat. Why don't we hmm. show Nikki plus someone else as the drunk to the librarian? Because people are going to think that he might actually genuinely believe he's the atheist, but he's actually the drunk. The thing is, if Nikki claims, if Nikki of all people claims atheist, people are going to just be like, "No, it's Nikki." He's, it's the you know. <laughs> and I mean, I don't. This is no offense to to Nikki or to Richie, who I'm also about to call out for the same thing. Any game where either of them claim atheist, most people are going to go really. <laughs> so. You know, I don't think we need to push too much harder on Nikki being sus. Okay. Well, what we'll do um, then is we'll we'll show we'll show the librarian either the virgin or I don't know the chef is the drunk because that gives us wiggle room with mm. what we can do with the, with regards to the virgin. Fair. Yeah. What number should we show? It the also chef? um it also simplifies things. Uh, avoiding. Avoiding a possible drunk atheist should make things a little more understandable for for a first first time atheist game. Yeah. Oh, I wish it could be in Nikki's room right now when he receives that atheist atheist token. <laughs> I might go sit there. Just have you sent them? Or have you <laughs> I've not? sent them out. Yeah. Okay. I might go see what he thinks. Be back in a sec. Let, well, let's just all go. <laughs> you don't get to have all the fun. You can come along too, Steve. Oh my God, Nikki! I, it was, I swear to God, it was actually random. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. <laughs> no one's gonna believe you at all. No, they're not gonna believe me at all. <laughs> this is beautiful. You know what? What makes this even funnier is for me personally. I feel like an atheist because next door is a church being really, really loud, and I'm like, 
go away. Is this your way of getting back at them? Being this is my way of getting back at them. <laughs> Next game, you'll get heretic as well. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. All right, well, good luck, Nikki. What, what's, what's, what's my demon bluffs? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. I'm going to start doing the night phase while those guys talk to Nikki. Oh, no, you're with me. Okay, cool. Um, right. I'm, I think we'll show Bejbo a one as the chef. Because um, cool. that's a nice neutral number, isn't it? Yeah. And with a recluse in game, then it's going to throw some shade either side. Yeah, absolutely. So I guess we go to Ekin first. Uh, this way. All right, Ekin. Hello. Hello. I am here to tell you that on your shelves, you uh, spy a tome, which leads you to believe that either Bejbo or Gambling is the drunk. Bejbo or Gambling is the drunk. That's good to know. Thank you. You're welcome. See you later. See ya. Hello, Tapia. Hello. So, you learn this evening that either Cosmo or Andrew P is the Scarlet Woman. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Oh Hello, Bejbo. Hello. Oh, you're a little quiet. Let me just turn you on. Are you here to chop my teeth? You hear your teeth? Oh, your no I, ben may have missed teeth. this. What? Yeah. <laughs> there has been. We've had a running joke for some time that this week's release uh, is not actually the atheist, and we've been running this bl long play the entire time, and it's actually the orthodontist that's getting released this week. Oh, um, right. But that may have been <laughs> completely <laughs> missing. That explains why you keep saying orthodontist in chat, right? I thought yeah. they were just being really witty. How many cavities do I have, Ben? Uh, cavities. You've got what are you? Oh, you've got one cavity as orthodontist oh, my. Chef Bejbo. Yeah, just the one, I'm afraid. Oh, well, thank you, Ben. You're welcome. Dakota, hello. Hello, friends. How are y'all? Very good, thanks. How are you? I am doing fantastic. Awesome. So, um, pick two people, please. Although, be warned, it might mean nothing. Yes, because big scary role that makes me scared. Uh, to peer and gambling. To peer and gambling. And you learn a no. Neither of them registers as the demon. Wonderful. Thank you for lying to me, Ben. That's alright. Anytime. <laughs> alright. Uh, have a quick look around the Grim, but I'm pretty sure that's a lot for this game. Or for yeah, this, for this it's night, it's not just for this the game, three of us <laughs> in this cottage, yeah? yeah? There is only three of us, yeah, don't worry. We've, yeah, that gonna... mistake has been made enough times <laughs> that we'll likely never make it again now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, every having, storyteller having... does it once. <laughs> yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, having, a, having a look at the Grimoire, we have... Um, we're going to have two players that... Uh, Nikki and either Ivy or Arrow that we're going to need to make look evil uh, because if Nikki is trusted and both Arrow and Ivy are trusted, then that is going to be a confirmed atheist game. So uh, I'm just putting it out there, putting it out now for future nights uh, for Undertaker Fortune Teller. Um, if we can make Arrow, Ivy, or Nikki look as evil as possible, we should have a more interesting game or raven keeper can do so as well yeah i was okay. going to say the advantage we've got is ben had already done the fortune teller on ivy the red herring even on ivy which is great because the red herring on ivy makes ivy the demon nikki a minion that's claiming atheist and then bejbo's chef one tallies perfectly yeah i mean yeah. i say that we just make um, well, that's actually really good what do you think yeah. of us just make doing all three of them uh making them all look evil because What's going to happen then is there's going to be two factions, the Aero faction and the Ivy faction, and both of them are going to think that the people propping up the other faction are probably the rest of the evil team. Yeah, I'm down with that. Yes, sir. All right, let's do that. Let's do it. Let's wake everyone up. Who 
Good morning, Ravenswood Bluff. You awake this morning to notice that nobody went to church yesterday. Is that an omen? Or is it just a normal day in the very secular Ravenswood Bluff? Good luck, have fun. Why does our clock have three clock hands? Oh no. We're counting seconds now. This is bad. <laughs> yeah, this has all gone wrong. Yeah, we're officially at a swimming pool, guys. Let's go. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Losing time. Oh yeah. no. Hey, Jams, want a soul? Yeah. Gambling and to, uh, oh, to peer, can we talk? Sure. Atheist game. I'm calling this like 100% right now. If it's really an atheist game, it's been a while since Nikki has been on a reveal stream. Nikki's a new role. It's like that was the rule for. Are you the spy or the washerwoman? No, I'm just making a medical. I have I'm no idea. I'm gonna go listen to him now to make you paranoid. See you later. You are good. How do you know I'm good? Because I know that you're good. I did. Someone you... just comes up to me and says you're good. <laughs> I'm gonna be suspicious. I mean, do you believe that you're good? I think I'm good. I was still the blue token. Well then, you're good. <laughs> what token were you dealt, Mickey? I believe in a lot of things, um, but there's is one thing which I don't believe in. Is it the storyteller? <laughs> it's the storyteller. Oh, Ben. There is a bad, there is an evil person in this chat. There is an evil person in here. Okay? Oh, joy. We've, we've got to be what I we don't, say. I don't believe you for a second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, that is a hard claim, by the way. Um, a hard claim <laughs> atheist never ascent? Okay. Oh, uh, what, what, what are you? I'm a mayor. You're the mayor? Yeah. I'm scared to go for a mayor win. Question, can we select the mayor instead of doing an atheist win? No, well, we, we could try, but, um, but I, the storyteller could decide, actually, you're not going to get the mayor win. Yeah, but that would be rude. Storyteller would be never rude. be rude. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Um, oh, joy. All right. <laughs> I'm loving this. All, All right. right. I'll keep a lookout. I'll have that back <laughs> That makes sense. Can you give me any uh, similar piece of info? Uh... If I'm the librarian, I saw a drunken play. Wonderful. Uh, hello, Ben. Hello, chat. As a little bit, Ben, you have chat, right? I do. So as a recap for chat, me and Bejbo did a two for two. I gave Bejbo fortune teller and empath and told them that I trust my neighbors. Bejbo told me chef librarian and they said chef two. I, if I'm the chef, I got a one. If I'm the librarian, I saw a drunk. Wonderful. Uh, and that's, that's your lot. Yeah, all right, thank you. Thank you, Bejbo. Thank you, guys. Exact same thing I told Ivy. I know oh. that you are good. Okay. Cool. That's exciting. It, it is. Um, do you wanna, do you wanna roll swap? Do some hard claims? Oh, yeah, I'm the investigator. Okay, cool. Your information is garbage. Okay. Because there are no minions. Interesting. Okay. I, I'm the atheist. <laughs> cool. Nikki, I love that you're just hammering this home in little portions here. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's fine. I mean, I just I wrote down empath or atheist. It had to be one of the two. Um, um, it is fun. Um, out of interest, who? What did you get? Oh, um, I haven't told anyone yet, but I'm just kind of going around seeing if anyone's claiming recluse, because that might explain. Ben, Ben's going to throw somebody. I mean, yeah, it's, a, it's an atheist game. They're going to have as much fun with this as they can. Oh, of course. I'm excited to see how it goes. <laughs> um, yeah. Gambling was very eager to meta that you would specifically be the atheist, which uh, I, I said 
exactly to him. Oh, are you the watchwoman or the spy? So uh, we'll see how how that goes. Um, well, apparently, it was random. I don't believe it. Yeah, I think I, the no, I mean, online the random things happen. <laughs> it just keeps. I mean, happening. it loves to make me evil, so you never know. Actually, um, I haven't been the um, the release character in a very long time, so mm -hmm. I am I'm over the moon that I got this one. <laughs> Is yeah. that a planet joke? Because the atheist is a is a planet. Oh, I wish it was. <laughs> I really. It's a Scarlet Woman. Andrew or Cosmos is Scarlet Woman. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to uh, borrow that info. If okay. That's okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Uh, uh, Dakota knows I... I'm the investigator, and so does Ekin. So if you claim that okay. to them, they might be suspicious. Uh, I'm gonna do what I normally do when I'm double claiming someone like that, and if they question it, I'm just gonna be like, don't question it, and then they okay. won't. Okay, sounds good. I'll go back. Uh, let's head back. Mm -hmm. Uh, for reference, Ben, we just, uh, roll swap, so. Oh, thank you. <laughs> See what, what other chats emerge. Wait around and catch one at the beginning. Oh, there's my way around. Hey, how are you going? Good, how can I help you? Um, just wanted to find out if you're a good boy or not. And if so, what specific good boy are you? Uh, are you willing to return in kind? Oh, of course. Happy to. I am the um, chef. I, you're the chef. Okay. So, if my information is correct and no one's lied to me, which always happens in Clock Tower, no one ever lies to me, then I've just found all four top four roles. Uh, in the space of one day, so that's great. I'm an outsider. I'm an outsider, specifically the butler who chose you. Oh, excellent. Yes. Well, I won't, uh, I won't play too fast and loose with my hands today then. Um, oh, that's fine, yeah. A lot of top fours. Uh, well, top fours are powerful, so that's good. Yeah, I mean, it's also very easy to lie as top four, so that's also a thing. I mean, I'm not saying you're specifically lying, I'm just saying I've heard a lot of top four, so I've already You've heard of a librarian. I've also heard of a librarian. And then I've I heard of a can... librarian. I've heard of someone hard climbing librarian, and I've heard of two people just claiming top four. Huh. Well, let's see if those people's claims check out, because it's easy to claim top yeah. four without details. It's very easy to claim top four without details. Yeah, so. I, don't, I don't intend to offer myself up to the Undertaker, because there's an atheist on the script, so we should have them die instead. Yeah, okay, that sounds sounds reasonable. Yep. Alright, cool, mm -hmm. thanks. Thanks. Hey. <laughs> um, so, chat, uh, chat, uh, me and Jams have decided that Yams are now potato friends. And so, uh, Yams, will you be my potato friend? Is that how that works? I think so. Are, are we potato friends now? I don't even know what a yam is. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure we have a different word for Isn't it, in it the just UK. a sweet potato? Oh, is it just a sweet potato? Right. No, like I, 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 potato don't, I don't, I don't, I think, I think yams is different from a sweet potato. But I forgot what they were called, and so I just said, aren't they just potato friends? Potato <laughs> friends! And now I'm going to This friends. is how anyway. we play very official serious clock tower and solve yes. the game. Uh, yes, so we, on that we note, are the discussion. We've all learned something today, I think. Well, I have, yep. anyway. We, we are the experts. Um, okay. Jam, my yes. potato friend. Uh, <laughs> what would you like to do? Whatever you want to do. <laughs> if I, if we do hard will you lie to me? Because if so, then I just want to do a two for two at that point. Um, Monk. Empath. Okay. All What'd right. you get? Uh, a zero. No, no evils. In my neighborhood. Okay. Cool. All right. Thank you, potato friend. You got it. The first thing I thought. <laughs> potato friends. James, yeah. can you do a quick chat? Yeah. Oh. Hi. Uh Hi. So, I heard you claimed investigator. I'm not the investigator. Okay, just to clear that up. Uh, yeah, we can head back. That's all I need. Okay. Cool. Well, that was a quick chat.
They weren't messing around when they said a quick chat. All right, let's wake, up. Let's say wake everyone up. Let's bring everyone back. All right, open your ears, guys. Everyone's going to get dragged. All right. Yeah. Welcome back to the town square, everyone. Welcome back on this momentous occasion. Um, just before we uh, we do discussions and nominations, I'm just going to say for the benefit of both you guys, but mostly chat, um, in an atheist game, if we are in an atheist game, there will be no evil players, and the good team, which is the entirety of all the players, can only win by nominating and executing the storyteller. However, if this is not an atheist game, and the storyteller is executed, evil wins. That's the situation we're in. Take a couple minutes to chat, guys, then we'll open nominations. So, uh, I've heard of an atheist. Uh, yeah, we have, Nikki. Oh, God. <laughs> I see no reason not to execute the atheist, Nikki. I, I, com I completely agree. Um, and I will say... Uh, your best bet is to kind of like save the storyteller execution until near the end of the game um, Because yes, this could be an evil play, but yeah um, I hate is, how you... indistinguishable a spy game and an atheist game are kind of end up being aren't they? Yeah, I mean yeah. did you did you not say at the start of the uh, before the game started you wanted to nominate the atheist or the storyteller day one, and now you don't want to do it? Oh no, I don't. I one hundred percent do. And I, I I definitely will. And as soon as nominations <laughs> open, Daddy uh. Ben, I'm coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even escape this nonsense when I'm not playing. <laughs> you should. Uh, we should make since there's three storytellers, we should secretly choose one storyteller, and you have to guess which one. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's too easy right now, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if we're going to get nominated every day, I reckon Ben, if you do our defense on day one, Steve, you do it on day two. Oh, um, yeah. You can do it on day three, Ed, and then if we're nominated on day four, we can all try and do it simultaneously. Yeah. <laughs> all right. That'll be entertaining over, yeah. over all right. you, you, you guys can do the thing me and Capelli did um, uh, previously where you like complete each other's sentences. So each of you will say a word and then you'll just try to give a full defense yeah. that way. Storyteller defense Mad Libs. I'm up for that. Because oh. there's nothing that proves the existence of God like people randomly shouting sentences that don't make sense. <laughs> 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 Alright, I think that's probably times. a close enough time. Nominations are open. Nikki nominates Ben! There it is, okay. Yay. Nikki nominates Ben. Uh, of course, if we were playing this in person, we would go around oh. from Nikki. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, Nikki will be the last person to vote on me. Nikki, state your case. I do not believe in Daddy Ben, his son Ed, or the Holy Steve. <laughs> oh, I am the Nikki. atheist. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, I spent the night thinking about that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I guess my defense uh, would be, I I mean, have you seen me? I'm clearly a god. You look more like Jesus, to be fair. Oh, no, no, no. Yo, day one re -rack. come on. Let's do it. Come on. <laughs> oh, Let's do no. it. Let's do it. Win on day one. Come on, please. No. Please win on day one. Please. Yes. Oh, wait. Yes, come on. <laughs> yes. No, champ, no. <laughs> yes, no. Uh, Ivy nominates Nikki. Ivy, tell us why you've chosen Nikki. This atheist here is coming into our town and trying to convince us that we don't have a god. He's just trying to destroy our society as we know it. Nikki? I mean, to be fair, th th this this has been a long time brewing. Yeah, anything to go after Ben. And yeah, I've been wanting for this for a very long time. And now I get to do it. It so sounds like an ulterior I will motive. Happily, I will <laughs> yeah. happily go down if it means taking Ben down with me. <laughs> Alright. Uh, six votes required, but feel free to get 12. Here we go. Oh, no. I mean, come on, Andrew. Obviously, and well, come on. Come, come on, on obviously, James. Obviously, come on, Andrew. 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 is obviously being shown atheist, right? <laughs> no, on, James. Jams. Jams. Jams, you got to do it. Potato friend. Jams. Jams, no. you nice oh. say <laughs> 11 is enough, Nikki on the block. Just because of that, Jams, gambling nominates gambling. <laughs> Alright, tell us why gam gambling. 
Oh, sorry, I made a mistake. Gambling's executed and dies. Everyone goes to sleep. <laughs> oh, my son got... Yeah, I genuinely didn't look at my screen when I said tell us why gambling. I was thinking that. Um, I will sort out these two that have been left behind by the bot. Um, if you guys um, want to. Uh, just before we just before we head on, I'd like to have a secret storyteller huddle at the beginning of each night. I don't yeah, think we really need it. Don't think we really need it tonight. But if you want to do anything wacky, like uh, um, uh, pre-decide Raven Keeper or Undertaker, then I'm down. But I think I think tonight's pretty straightforward. So yeah, I mean, I, th I think I mean, one of the things that we probably want to discuss each night is what we show the Undertaker. Uh, I mean, it's not relevant. And who, and who we kill? Yeah. Uh, if if the if Nikki is executed, what do we show the Undertaker? I, I feel like we probably should show the Undertaker atheist because. I can I can totally see them thinking that's an evil ploy. They've poisoned the Undertaker. Oh. He's, bl he's bluffing atheists, etc., etc. I th we, um... I think that might I think that might tip tip our hand too much because yeah. we're going to have either Ivy or Arrow is evil, Nikki is evil, and Noel is possibly evil. Mm. You, could, you could show drunk. My, my my preference is drunk or mm. something that something like maybe not Baron, maybe maybe spy. Problem with drunk I think drunk is that we've already told the librarian that either the chef or the virgin is. Ah, uh, and the virgin's but that's good. Right. You, you, you're dead right. You're dead right. That, I mean, that's also not necessarily a bad thing. They've got a drunk somewhere else, according to a librarian, and then um, so the, someone seeing an under uh, the atheist is drunk. Does it? You know, it doesn't play against the atheist world. Yeah. Yeah, I'd even be happy with I'd be even be happy with the imp. Like <laughs> that's the kind of thing an imp would do. It just yeah. means there's a scarlet woman. Anyway, yeah, it, it's not something we have yeah, to no. think about now. If you wanted to move on with this night, though. I'm almost well, I mean, half tempted yeah. to kill Nikki tonight just to make it look like a star pass. I mean, they're going to waste the day executing if we don't. So yeah, ben. we we should do it. We should just kill him tonight. Sure, yeah. go for it. I mean, it's they're not going to expect it, right? And unexpected things is, is is what will make this seem like not an atheist game. I mean, we're all kind of learning here, aren't we? Like we're sat here yeah. as three, like the big know-it-alls. But really, we're, of the of the one hundred percent of knowledge that exists on how to run an atheist well, between us, we have somewhere between two and four, I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, before we do that, let's go uh, see what Jams picks. Mm -hmm. Where is... Right at the bottom. If it's easier for you, Ed, I can drag Steve around, because I have a portrait orientation monitor that has everything on it. So right, you, you stream to do it. I will do it. I was not being prepared, so you go ahead. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, okay, hello, Jams. That's not a part of your ability. Uh, who would you like to protect tonight? I can't drag the storytellers around from room. <laughs> That's disappointing. Um, <laughs> could I protect Dakota, please? You absolutely can. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I was really hoping that Jams protected Nikki. Then that would have been that would have given us some interesting opportunities. Um, but we should probably haul last because uh, we don't want it to seem like we're discussing too much, right? So let's go straight to Dakota. Hello. Hello. Uh, who would you like to look at tonight? Um. Well, I would like you to lie to me about Cosmo and Ivy. Cosmo and Ivy. And you learn that, yes, one of them is the demon. All right. Thank you for lying to me. You're welcome. Anytime. Hello. Hello, Noel. Um, the Holy Trinity has yeah. arrived. Now, this is going to shock you, but yesterday the Virgin was executed. You're not going to tell me the Atheist was executed. Okay, good. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Thanks, fellas. Thank you. All right, that's that's all we need to do now. Um, yeah, and let's let's kill Nikki. Yeah, going with Nikki. Cool. Yeah, let's do it.
Look at a button. Woo! Good morning, Ravenswood Bluff. It is my sad, sad... Um, I've forgotten what words are now. What what's Duty. the word for when you have to do something? Duty, that's it. Yeah, it's a pretty it's a pretty obscure one. That sorry. Uh, it is my sad duty to announce that Nikki died in the night. This is full on proof that it's an atheist game. One hundred percent. Ben just slated me down. Okay. Uh, to stop um, me from nominating him. Oh boy. I don't think we need any more discussion. We have a chat. Is... Yeah, let's get this queue going. Alright. <laughs> I wanna talk to gambling after we're done with this. <laughs> Actually really sad. I had a great nomination for Steve. Oh no. That's right. Yeah, you I'm can still nominate, nominate him, oh, right? Yeah. They, you can, they can just pick the rules and let it go through. Uh, tell, you what, tell you what, Nikki. Tell you what, Nikki. For for the sake of content, I'll nominate Steve on your behalf. How does that sound? Oh yeah. And then can All you right. pass the nomination to me? <laughs> <laughs> No, oh, I've, I've done nothing. Sure, I've done I can... nothing to deserve this. <laughs> uh, James, it's my nomination, Steve. Just wait. Hey, how are you? Good. How are you? Uh, I am solid. Uh, what do you got for me? I'm a librarian. Uh, a librarian with a what now, Ping? Durank Ping. Somebody's. Uh, was I part of it? No. Oh dang, that would have been useful to know. Do you uh, want to claim anything? Uh, sure. Um, I was the, uh, well, I still am the Undertaker. So okay. it, it would have been useful if I had been part of the drunk beam because I was told the Virgin. Okay. So, which you know, big surprise. Nice. <laughs> yeah. All right. Cool. Um, the pings are on uh, beige. How are you doing? Good. So you are you are claiming atheist then. I'm right. still claiming atheist. That's fine. Um, I don't really feel like I need to hide too much. Either way, uh, I'm the recluse. You're the recluse? Yep. Oh, one yep. of the investigators had a ping on you. I've heard. Yeah. Um, I don't know what the other investigator had a ping on. Um, I heard from somebody who wasn't the investigator who the ping were. Um, I've also heard of a librarian and a chef, so a lot of info that we can't do a whole lot with. Yeah, pretty much. Cool. Oh, that's, that's still going to be hilarious if I'm the drunk. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, I did hear of a librarian who saw a drunk two players that weren't you, but it's... Uh, I, I don't know. As long as it was two people that aren't me, they're not happy. Yeah, I mean, unless it's Ben messing with you, so... But then, for him to mess with me, I'd have to be sober. Hmm. <laughs> the layers. Look at that. Yeah, I, I see through this, Ben. I get you. Don't you worry. <laughs> Sorry, Nikki, but I can't openly back your evil play whilst Andrew's in the room. Oh, well, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go then. Uh, yeah, Andrew will need to go and then we can talk about how my evil plays. <laughs> 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 so, Nikki, that was pretty ballsy doing all that, and then but, um, presumably your plan was always to stop us in the night. Oh, 100%. 100%. <laughs> You know, I, 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 as, as, as you were thinking of the words to say, I was like, he's definitely killed me. He's definitely killed me. 100% he's killed me. But you know what would be even better? is If I am the drunk, if if an imp has decided to kill me first, then well done to them. Because I would not believe that an imp has killed me first uh, as, as an atheist. So I mean, it's one yeah, of the reasons the to not come out as an atheist straight away, right? Yeah, yeah, but also I feel like the earlier you come out, it gives town a lot more time to problem solve. Mm. Yeah. Coming out on a final day would be hilarious. Yeah. But anyway, I'm going to head back and um, see what else can go. Wondering what you would like to claim, if you will. Uh, I will claim Recluse, because why not? You're the Recluse. <laughs> I've, heard that, I've heard that there's an investigator ping on me. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's fun. I know uh, my role in this game. Yeah. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. I, I, I'll I, be honest with you, I'm the butler. Cool. Uh, yeah. Then those are... So that's... Yeah. Well, that's so, two. That's two outsiders, that's two. including and me. But I've, I've heard of a librarian who saw a drunk. Yeah, who saw a drunk. That's right. So 
That's kind of suspicious. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I genuinely don't know what to do, so... Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, I guess if we hear from a saint, if someone comes out a saint, we know it's a Baron game. Uh, or if, or if it's an atheist game, and they yep. just decide to chuckle for it. Ah! <laughs> um... Well, you know what? They could have just added a third outsider because Ben's right here and he can do that sort of thing. Absolute chaos. Um, but yeah, okay, cool. That sounds fine. Um, oh yeah. Truths, please. Um, what's the most religious thing on the script? Uh, have you returned to Monkey? Perhaps. I recognize the we had a bad first day, Jams. I'm virgin. What did you bad first day? Please. I wanted to nominate you. Yes, and I had and, and I, I had correctly a called that you me. were the virgin, and well, you okay. did absolutely. And then I heard that there was a drunk maybe, thing on me. And maybe you are you the drunk. Me, and there's atheists in the game. <laughs> maybe, but we should be able to work that out from context. Are you the monk? Yes. Okay. Um, who did you protect last night? Dakota. Good call. Um, I would argue that's a good stick. Great. I... Yep, that's fine. I... I will <sighs> die now. I hope you know that. I mean, he's in the room. The monster, the man, the myth, the legend. And so therefore, yes, you are absolutely dying now. But... You self-nominating monster? I was so... Look, hey, hey, come on. We gotta keep hey, Nicky alive for a second. When else can we ever do that? I should have kept my hand up on the atheist. Uh, yes, you should. I would have let that go every time. And then I would have died, and we would have known nothing. But here we are. No, then we anyway. would have just won the game. Um, sure. Ugh, what else do you have? Um, I have I a double claim. Assuming of I, have a, I have a hard double claim. I have a nope. Um, I have a hard double, double claim. I have a ping uh, FT yes ping. And I have exactly zero outsiders. In yeah. This point. Wait, what? No. Isn't Arrow an outsider? No. He has oh, not okay. Me. What's he? I'm good. I'm good. I want to solve. <laughs> Catch Come you later. On. Not Gambling. today. Not well, today, yesterday. Jams. Please today. Please today. No, please? Not to, no, Gambling. No, no. You owe me. <laughs> what? Don't. I mean, if tomorrow, you don't want, tomorrow, if you tomorrow. don't want to. Well, there you go. Now you do. Now I do. Oh, for the sake of chat, um, Arrow has claimed, Butler to me, we talked about outsiders and the fact that there's supposedly three outsiders and that couldn't be possible unless it was an atheist game. Could yeah. it? Hey? Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, if, if the fourth one is the drunk, I mean, come on, Nikki, you've played Triple Broom. Uh, no, the well. third one we're talking about is the drunk. Third, yeah, the third one is the drunk. We've had a librarian. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I haven't seen a saint yet. I haven't Maybe if we saint just saint start am, blasting, saint, we'll find one. Is. But I you're the saint. Oh, yeah, okay, I, I'm the right. saint, and I was like, you know what? Let's go for a hard re-rack day one with the 11 votes. Because you're the saint, and that's yeah. the only way to get a hard re-rack day one, is to <laughs> nominate the storyteller, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Andrew, we're probably going to get dragged Ooh, before we can do too anything. Late. But, oh, yep. Welcome oh. back, everyone. <laughs> Welcome back to the town square. There are 10 living players, 5... Votes required today. Take a couple minutes to chat, and then we'll open nominations. Uh, your son got asked for the death of Ivy. I would, I, I would, I would actually. I have a different uh, nomination that I would like to do. Is someone to nominate Steve on my behalf, please? No. Uh, I have a hard double claim today, post uh, version activation. Ooh. So, so. Ooh. Oh, that's good. Yeah, is it me? Is possible that. In an atheist game, you can put two of the same token in. This well, if true. so, then Jack is the happiest man in the world. Is there two mares? There's would apparently that, two mares. Would that oh, be allowed? Because in real life, shit. you wouldn't have extra tokens. I the head of two. I guess. I don't know. I mean, you just buy several bit, copies guess, of Blood on the Pot, so are reasonably priced as they are. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, guess you, I guess you could. Online, it's easier to. Is, um, is this a running joke that I'm missing about how reasonably <laughs> no, priced it is? It is. Now. <laughs> wow. As, so as I, of 40 I, I will... minutes ago, it's a running joke. <laughs> uh, so I, I will say that I have reason 
like look if we're gonna play this as an atheist game then sure we can we can figure that out but if we're playing it as it may not be an atheist game i would like to push on cosmo i've heard multiple reasons we should kill cosmo today i actually and i actually think cosmo could be good but i would like to get cosmo out of the way so our information isn't there isn't any way for Cosmo to poison that information. Mm-hmm. No offense, Wait. Cosmo. I love you. You're wonderful. But you Wait, must can the you trouble elaborate? I have with that, okay. The trouble I have with that, Dakota, is it's it's valid, um, and it's good information pointing to Cosmo being evil. But there's almost too much information being pointed to Cosmo to being evil. Yeah, yeah, yeah but here, 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 here's the thing, right? E- either either we use the fact that you got two mayor uh, claims and the fact that there is two to three pieces of info pointing Cosmo being evil and just nominate Ben and win because he's an atheist. Or we get rid of a player who has two pieces of info being pointed at them um, and not bo- both of us, you know, it, it's very unlikely that, unlikely that it was poisoned info that, that caused the two pieces of info that point to Cosmo being evil. Does that make sense? Like, like either, either Cosmo is evil, Cosmo is poisoning the well, or it's an atheist game. Let's just kill Ben. Yeah, if we go through all their worlds and the game still isn't over, well, then we have one particular person to look at. Yeah. So, so, I, so, I, so I think we go for Cosmo just to get rid of worlds. I'm against killing Cosmo. Let, let's kill Cosmo and the Maris. Open. Uh, Ivy nominates Ivy. Ivy, tell us why you have nominated yourself. Uh, Ivy's claiming Mare, and that's kind of sus. Okay, anything to say in your defense? Uh, this is a bad idea and we shouldn't do it. Alright, two, uh, two polarizing views there, here we go. <laughs> I... I appreciate this, Ivy. Damn it, I think the other half is... Ugh. Fine. Oh, Ivy <laughs> <Ivy's> on the block. <laughs> Dakota nominates Cosmo. No, I was going to nominate myself. Dakota, tell us why you've nominated Cosmo. Cosmo, there's there's no fear monger, so we can, we're can we fine here. Uh, Cosmo knows... I, I gave my defense earlier. Two pieces of info pointing at Cosmo. Okay, Cosmo. So I'm aware of one. Uh, I'm not sure about the other. Uh, I will say I am not the recluse. I'm not claiming the recluse. But it make I think it makes sense why I'm, there's some evil pings on me. Uh, I will vote on myself unless there's like a ton of people okay six to execute or six to put on the block five to tie this is a mistake evil's voting on this unless it's an atheist game that's faulty logic there's multiple reasons evil would want to vote on this i'm perfectly fine dying for what it's worth yeah cosmo's good dakota's evil six is enough cosmo on the block do you have any info to back it up dashbo because i i have I have my own separate info to back up Cosmo being evil. Yeah, I don't believe it. So, for what it's worth, um, gambling, uh, do you have everybody's claim? I do not, actually. I'm missing Andrews, and I have an unresolved swap um, that okay. is not clear, but it works. Um, so, I, um, also, also, I have yet to speak to Nikki this game, so I have absolutely no idea what he is. And for what it's worth, <laughs> What is worth? I'm aware of the investigator info, and I'll just say that it makes sense. It does, but this is it my does. point. What's that? Oh, yeah. point, if the investigator's much. info is one of the yeah. infos, that's not real. Oh yeah, I can also let you know that um, I understand that Cosmo. Okay, actually, yeah, I can say this as the Virgin. I'm already dead. Uh, Cosmo has both a FT yes and a Scarlet Woman ping on them. Uh, the Scarlet Woman ping is pinged on the Recluse as well, though, so we can just toss that out. Second call. Can someone nominate Steve on my behalf and pass it to me? Please? Noel will nominate Steve. All right. Oh. Noel, tell us why, or do you want to pass it to Nikki? Um, oh. Nikki can have it this time. So, whilst we all know that Ben is the root of all evil here, Steve is the one who unleashed this evil into the world. Therefore, we need to take out Steve. Steve, your defense. Nikki, 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 Nikki. <laughs> Nikki, Nikki. I am 
I've played I've played a lot of Blood on the Clock Tower, and most of my games have had uh, most of my games have had a good vibe, and I've never seen anything so foul as what's <laughs> happening here today. For, for you to think that Ben and Ed would do this to you, no, no, I, 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 that would be un, it would be unconscionable. I, I need to stand up for Ben and Ed and and deny your claims. This is this is ridiculous. <laughs> We, we wouldn't we wouldn't do this. This Steve we, guy we, sounds we, like he knows what he's wouldn't. talking about. <laughs> anyway, uh, seven required. So we can confirm here, Nikki. So if Ben is the root of all evil and Stephen is the cause of Ben, are you calling Stephen money? One hundred percent. Well, surely, but if, but if I'm the cause, if I'm the root of all evil, and money is the root of all of, e of all evil, doesn't that make Steve a bank or a mint? <laughs> uh, that, makes, that would make him reasonably so, priced. So, so, <laughs> so if, Steve, if Steve is a bank and Ben is money, is Ed like the bank teller? Is Ed <laughs> handling Ben? I should observe that I have had a new uh, nickname given to me during this <laughs> this game, and I will be keeping it. Um, that is the patron saint of bullshit. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, uh, I, I, I have anointed Ed as the patron saint of bullshit. Final call. I love it. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, I'd like to try something. I, I like to claim Slayer and shoot Andrew P. Okay, there is no effect. Okay. It can never need special. Akin you? nominates Bejbo. Tell us why, Akin. Uh, yeah, that's not he... Bejbo. Keep telling us why, though. He is in a drunk ping, and I want to check with an Undertaker to see if he's drunk. Or... Okay, Bejbo. Uh, I strongly believe Cosmo is good, and I'm a better kill, so I'll vote on myself. All right. With that in mind, the number required is seven. Six would tie it. Here we go. <laughs> Don't tie this. Just let me die. I'll make sure it doesn't tie. I made sure it's not tying. Uh, it's six. Uh, if everybody uh, makes sure it doesn't tie, we Oh my god, it does tie! That's the opposite of making sure it doesn't tie, Benjamin. Yep. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> live! No one has no yet. Don't trust yeah, Benjamin at all. Alright, oh, oh, right. let's execute the other half of this mayor double claim then. Bejo is so evil. Yeah, so get Arrow out of here. Why? I wanted to die. Someone Bejo. nom Arrow. Uh, to Pierre nominates Arrow. 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 To oh. Pierre is in there first. Uh, tell us why I've nominated Arrow. Uh, double claim. Okay, Arrow. It might be possible that one of the mayors is actually the mayor. So. I one mean, of you lied to a virgin. Yeah. And it was not me. So, there you go. It wasn't me. Okay. Uh, seven it was to execute, you, Ivy, six to tie. Why are we doing anything that Bezbo wants after that? Chance, yeah, Dakota, exactly. what do you guys do? No, gambling, I'm not voting on this. I trust you. I am not voting for anything Bezbo wants. Cosmo? Really? Oh. One more vote? Pleading? One more? I'm not tying it. Colin, pleading, Colin. That Cole. is a third tie. All right. Oh, my God. Uh, Aero oh. nominates Andrew P. Aero, Aero Andrew tell P. us why you've chosen Andrew P. Uh, we... Uh, look, if we have to kill someone today, which I'm not saying we have to, Andrew P is not a bad shout. Andrew? I am the recluse. If we have to kill somebody, I'm not a bad shout. Alright, once again, for the fourth time, seven required. <laughs> But Wait, this does just... nothing! This does nothing! I have an Undertaker claim! I wanted to confirm them! What are we doing?! Nothing, apparently. <laughs> Two is oh not my enough. god. Currently nobody on the block today. Any other nominations? Gambling, yeah, is somebody else you want nominated? Five seconds. I don't know! Apparently I have no power in this town! What about Null? Null claims something that... No! Okay, no, no executions today. Everyone goes to sleep. <clears throat> wow. I, can't, I mean, thank, thanks, Bejbo. You really did all work for us there. 
I think I was a bit worried it was looking a bit too much like an atheist game until he uh, did that. We're gonna just have to. We're not we're gonna have to change up who we're selling as the evil team now. I I have um I've had a, a brain fart and forgotten what the uh, chef number was. It was a one. It was a one. It was a one. All right. Yeah. Um, at some stage in the game, I'd like to simulate the monk getting it uh, correct and not killing at night, but um, yeah, totally. I don't think tonight. I, I don't think tonight's the night. I mean, maybe. We sh yeah, we should. What we should do is we should go speak to Jams first because we don't want to take too long, otherwise Jams is going to get suspicious. Then we'll reconvene here and talk about what we want to do. What do you think? Yeah, so sure. Good. All right, let's go talk to Jams then. Good evening, Jams. Good evening. Who would you like to protect? Mm. Dakota. Dakota it is. Go okay, ahead, just give you a quick drag there. Um, right, so prior to the events of yesterday, I was actually going to suggest that we... Um, we kill Cosmo because there was loads of suspicion being thrown at Cosmo. Um, and it would look like evil trying to make it look like an atheist game by killing the person who is currently, you know, under suspicion, something that a real evil team would never do, etc, etc. What do you think about that? The, double I'm, the world I'm in is the it, where gambling is so vocally trying to push for an undertaker to confirm people and where at this point like five people of the living ten have claimed if I was any of three or four people in this town square I would guess that Noel is a 50% chance of being the undertaker and I would kill him mm. that's it so yeah. that, what, what, take... what gambling did at the end of the day there was like no on Noel that's definitely yeah. something that the evil team will pick up on yeah, so if I'm evil here, I kill Noel most of the time. Hmm. Um, so I think that's what I would be inclined to do. Yeah, i i tend to would I tend to agree that would that would be a good way to simulate to simulate rather a an evil team. But I'd really prefer to keep Noel alive yeah. just so that we can have that. Noel is guaranteed misinformation whenever we need it, as long as there's an execution. Um, I think we should kill no one then so, and make it look like the demon attacked Dakota. We can go no one. If if you do want to kill Cosmo, um, do you have in mind who you would like to show as evil? Because we don't know who, who Cosmo is so going to at choose. At the moment, I'm thinking um, possibly the real demon being Dakota, pulling all the strings, and, Dakota, and, and possibly uh, Aero as the minion. And Dakota, the demon, is trying to set up Ivy or Cosmo as a demon. What do you think about that? We're going to need... We'd need Nikki and Aero to be the two minions in that situation. Yeah. Um, or, for, or for Nikki to be the drunk. Um, but that would mean that Bejbo gets poisoned, which is fine, because you, our investigator you know is seen a recluse. Go on. Uh, ben, I am. I th I think you should just go ahead, follow your gut, and yeah, let's do it. Let's get, just, let's get, just get the night rolling, so let's, there's not too yeah. much delay. Let's go yep. to Cosmo now. Let's do it. Hello, Cosmo. Hello. Uh, you are dead. Please select a player. That's interesting. Um, I mean, it has to be Nikki. I gotta figure this out for myself. You're choosing Nikki. Yeah. You select Nikki, and you see the spy. Okay. All right. I just I just went with my gut there. Yeah, fair enough. I can totally see that being exactly what Nikki makes a beeline for upon receiving a spy token. Yeah, I mean, there's no, yeah. there's no bad choice there. Like any of the minions or the demon, all work. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I almost, I almost said atheists. Um, I thought about it, but then I thought, mm, 
probably not. Uh, the thing is, I would. I think it would be fun if you'd said Atheist, just because Cosmo would almost have been more suspicious. <laughs> really, th really throw a copal. Sh uh, tell him Vortox. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I could have just told him Raven Keeper. Actually, that would have been interesting. See what he made of that. No, any... I think I think it just a evil evil character was a good call. Yeah. Yeah, it's fair enough. All right, let's go tell. Uh, let's go speak to Dakota, and then we'll be telling Noel nothing because no one was executed. Yeah. Hello, Dakota. Hello. It's that time of the evening again. Who do you want to pick? This game is so exhausting, and we're barely even two days in. Um, let me have Bejbo and Jams. You choose Bejbo and Jams, and you learn that no, neither of them is the demon. Okay, thank you. Welcome. So I'm actually going to use my um, red herring tokens to remind me of who I've given Dakota a yes on so far. Well, it's worth bearing in mind that we need a second person for yeah, Dakota to get a yes on because we, we there will be a demon and a red herring. So, I'm, I'm thinking yeah. probably now that we've said um, that we've got, now that we're trying to sell a spy world, I'm thinking maybe we set up Noel as the demon for Dakota. Noel or Jams both work. Yeah. I'd, I'm slightly inclined to Jams because it makes it a little bit easier for us in terms of Bejbo's chef one. Because that would be a pretty chunky conversation with Nikki on day one as well. Yeah, I think that probably decides it, right? Yeah, I think so. But didn't he, who did Dakota just ask for? I've already forgotten. Uh, Bejbo, I and Jams actually. Sorry. Yeah, crap. So, okay, yeah. so that's too late now. Jams, so, so it's not. Yeah, fair it's enough. Null. It's happening. yeah, cool. We're still in a world where where the minions uh, minion is Nikki and probably Aero. Plus yeah. Done. All right, let's wake yeah, everyone or, up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's me in the corner. That's me in the spotlight, losing my religion. I figured it's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could have done with it being longer, to be honest. Anyway, good morning, everybody. Oh. Cosmo died in the night. Oh. Uh, Bejbo, uh, Bejbo, can we talk, please? Yeah, <laughs> sure. Uh, Cosmo, shall we speak? Yeah, can we chat? Yeah. Every piece of information I have, yep. uh, e knowing that you could be evil regardless of my information, right? But I'm giving you an olive branch so you can give me whatever info you have. That yeah. fair? Yeah. I am the fortune teller with a no on Tapir and Gambling. A yes on Cosmo and Ivy. A no on Bejbo and Jams. Okay, I am the chef with a one. Okay, so the reason why I wanted to push on Cosmo and not necessarily Ivy, right, was I, I, I legitimately don't remember why I didn't vote on Ivy, so I couldn't tell you that. But what I will tell you is I wanted to push on Cosmo because of the investigator ping. Well, I know it's also on the recluse. I understand that. My info points to Cosmo possibly being evil. I know there's a world where the evil overlord named Ben Burns is evil, right? I get that. Yeah. But I, I feel happier with Cosmo killed. Yeah, so here's here's why I did what I did. Um, based on the number of hands on Cosmo getting Ivy off the block, I was pretty sure Cosmo was good. Cosmo's claim to me made sense. The investigator ping being on yep. the recluse means it doesn't matter. And I figured if I tie, then we'll go for a mayor, which is what I wanted. So that's why I did what I did. That's, uh, that's fair. I am I am willing today to vote on Ivy because we have to play this as if it's not an atheist game until we, you know, have yeah. some some proof that it is. Um, so I'm willing to vote on Ivy because they are the other part of my ping. Yeah. But I so want to know on me. And so assuming that you are getting sober info, and there's a demon that isn't Big Bad Ben. Uh, then it would be who? Like, it would be one of Noel, Ekin, or Arrow? Or Ivy, because I got a yes on Ivy. It, but, so I got a yes on Cosmo and Ivy. Yes. So, the the, de the demon is, is either Ekin, Arrow, Noel, Andrew, assuming that they are not the recluse, or Ivy. 
Um, and if it's not, if if Ivy isn't my red herring, then it's just Ivy because I got yes on Ivy. Tomorrow, yeah. so you know what I'm doing. Uh, this is really bad because you might be able to poison me. But you already know my info anyway, so if you're the poison, you're just going to do it anyways. Um, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick Arrow and Noel tomorrow. Um, and if I get a no, then I'm going to pick Ekin and Ivy and see what happens. Yeah, I think that's super smart. Yeah. All right. I agree with all of that. Thank you, Mr. Dakota. Thank you, Bejbo. Claiming washerwoman um, who has a ping on gambling. Um, so that's what I have for jams. Um, I don't know who the other ping is. I have nothing on Dakota, and I have been trying to talk to her. Um, okay. Yeah, I got to I mean, I already claimed publicly, but I feel like I should gambling anyway, just in case. Okay. But cool. All right. Well, um, you you have a thing on no. Oh no. Uh, he, he well, he initially gave me library, and I said it was a double claim, and then they immediately backed off and gave me a role that I think is believable. Okay, that's fair. Cool. Um, yeah, I'll go see if, see if I can talk to the code and see if you can talk to him again. Cool. Let's have back. Cool. Thank you. Our prime directive, if we do want to look at a mare win, is making sure we have a confirmed good player in the final three of us. That way there can't be an imp and a poisoning. Yeah, yeah but your, your issue is that um, there's an alive evil storyteller who will stop the mare win. Um, of course not. Yeah, but like, in both mares, then with their powers combined, I have faith, Nikki. Yeah, if we have two mares, we could, like, the storyteller is great. I thought is one of those mares. No. Oh, who's the other mayor? It's Arrow. Oh, Arrow, you told me Butler yesterday. Yeah, I told everyone I was Butler because I'm trying to not die as the mayor. Trying not trying die not as get... the mayor. The mayor bounces. I'm trying to not get. I'm trying to not get targeted as the Wait, mayor. Wait, so what's Cosmo? Want... Is he Slayer. actually Slayer? Oh, okay. Yeah, Slayer. Yeah, Arrow's just full of nonsense. So wait, so what's the evil? Pi okay. Oh, the fortune teller apparently. Yeah. yeah. So Cosmo could have been a red herring. What's an yeah, atheist I'm... game? Just... If it's Still if it's not an atheist game, I have a red herring and the investigator ping. Yeah. By the way, Bejibo, you were a top four claim, right? I'm the chef. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, just making sure. Yeah, and apparently Ben and Steve are sat next to each other. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no. That's my top <laughs> worldview, but we don't have to go after cool. it now. There's some weird stuff in this game. Yeah. There's a weird TB. Is one of those weird things the storyteller being evil? Potentially. It, potentially. It's like 50% chance right now in my mind. I'm willing to take that risk. No, no, I'm joking. No. All right, people getting dragged. <laughs> Welcome Drag. back, everybody. There are a happy nine members of this town now. Take a couple minutes, then we'll open nominations. Um, Bejbo, just so you know, I don't want to act upon my info until tomorrow because I think that will help us with our double claim situation. Um, I have this, an SD question. Fine. Go for it. Uh, this is a potentially inherently redundant question, uh, but in an, an atheist game, are other win conditions valid? Um, no. I mean, they can they can be if the storytellers want them to be, but generally speaking, you can you can no. assume probably not because the whole point of the atheist game is that the good players, which is everyone, must figure out that they're in an atheist game. By if the story we oh, if, if we as a town being, genuinely oh. believe that it's an atheist oh, hang game, on a minute. Steve's coming in. He's probably he's probably oh I'm so probably sorry. Wrong. So uh, ben, I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind jumping jumping in on that question. Uh, as a as a general question for the atheist, it is up. It is up to the storyteller whether uh, alternate win conditions are valid. Um, the best the best way to handle it is to ask for uh, when when the good team is about to trigger a specific win condition. Ask if we do this, 
uh, will we, if, if we do this, will you recognize the, the win condition? Um, that's usually the way that I like to handle it. So, um, so we, this, the storyteller, if, if, for example, um, if, for example, you have a, a saint, um, executing a saint in an atheist game and you execute the saint the storyteller could decide uh that's that is uh that is game over and the good team loses or the storyteller could decide to let the execution ride the, the saint dies and the game's the game continues and if you guys have put two mayors in this game <laughs> could we could we get a double mayor win i i have no idea what ben and ed, ed have done to, to you. <laughs> Not a clue. Um, it's my understanding that the mayors are like double mayors is like the heretic. They just cancel each other out. So, yeah. <laughs> so let's kill Arrow and then only go for one mayor win. So I'm, I'll tell we you what. I'm going to lay down. I'm going to lay down the rules right now because you guys are all veterans. You're playing on extreme <laughs> hardcore mode. If you execute a saint, you lose, regardless of whether or not it's an atheist game. Um, if you uh, obtain a mayor win, you also lose. Unless it's not an atheist game. Oh, well, mayor right. wins don't count. Wonderful. Mayor wins do count if this is not an atheist game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But what about a double mayor win? <laughs> well, I... That's not possible. Fact... Uh, with there's only one mayor token. Wait, actually? No, no. I no. As as I want to. <laughs> 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 Maybe you're all mayors. <laughs> In which case, um, what are you doing? Uh, your son God calls for the death of either Bergebo or Error. Could, could I nominate Ed on my behalf, by the way? Well, the I... motions are open. Dakota nominates Arrow. Okay, Dakota, tell us why you have nominated Arrow. Dakota didn't nominate Arrow. Ivy nominated Arrow. Oh, I'll sorry, Ivy. Go for it. Uh, it's okay. Uh, because they're evil. Arrow, <laughs> are you evil? Uh, I reject the premise of the question. Somebody went to university. Anyway, five votes required. <laughs> five votes is just enough. Arrow on the block. Any other nominations? Dakota. Dakota yeah, Arrow, Arrow. Ivy. Okay, tell us why, Dakota. Um... The second verse, same as the first. I actually do not mind this uh, nomination. Uh, Bejbo will know that I don't mind this nomination. I've talked extensively to Bejbo about my plans. Um, I do have a evil ping on Ivy. Um, so I would like to maybe get rid of Ivy. Um, because the mayor wins, doesn't matter. So yeah, we can kill Arrow or we can kill Ivy. I just wanted to give uh, possibilities. Ivy. Uh, quick. Quick refund. You said mayor wins don't matter. Uh, that only they only don't matter if there's an atheist. If we don't have an atheist, the mayor still does matter. Uh, yeah, I'll, vote yeah. to, I'll vote to break a tie. Um, but I still think it's better to kill Arrow because obviously I'm good. It's better to kill the evil player. But I'll vote to break a tie because I think time. I, is so real quick before my vote, let me just tell you right now, if whether this is an atheist game or not, I'm treating this the same way I would treat like we think we have a poisoner in the final four. I'm not. I'm more of a vote mayor win regardless at this point. Like, there is no way in any world, atheist or otherwise, I am uh, down with a mayor win. So, yeah, I just still want to stay alive because I'm a good player. That's fair. Okay. Six to uh, put on the block, five to tie. Yeah, I'll, I'll vote to break the tie, so don't worry about tying or not. Okay, that's not happening, Ghoul. I just want I just wanted my info that you have an evil ping on you to be out in public. That's all I really about that. Are you referring to the chef thing, by the way, or no? What? Is it the chef one that you're referring to, or is it a different evil ping? It is a different evil ping. It is okay. my my own information leads me to believe that you have some sort of ping of being evil. Okay. Whether that is directly like a directly being you point out as being evil or information that causes me to believe you're being evil. Final call. Right. Ekin nominates Bejbo. Ekin nominates Bejbo. Tell us why, Ekin. Um, so there is a specific world where um, Nikki Starcast to Cosmo, who Starcast to Bejbo uh, the spy. Um, 
and Bejbo was the one that tied the vote on Cosmo yesterday, so I just want to clear that world. Okay, Bejbo. There's information contradicting that exact worldview. Short and sweet. You know the drill, six required, five to tie. Also, how do we have a double claim in that exact worldview? If the evil team is Nikki, Cosmo, and Bejbo, then what the hell is going on with Aero and Ivy? What happened was yes, he just accidentally forgot how to forgot that they're only supposed to steal once, so they just dealt two mares by accident. Two not enough. Can someone nominate Ed for me? Uh, I would nominate Ed, Ed, but I actually want to I want oh, to give no. this nomination. Sorry, Nicky, you've had your Aero chance. Nominates, Aero nominates Ed. Alright. Aero, tell us why we should execute Ed. I have meme reasons. <laughs> I'm gonna refer to Nikki, please. Yeah. <laughs> so Whilst we all know that uh, Ben is very evil and Steve has caused this to happen, uh, Ed has been by Ben's side this whole time and just allowed this to happen. You know, all throughout all of the streams and everything, ben, uh, Ed has always been there. Okay, And so if we're going to take down Ben, we need to start with his little sidekick, Ed. <laughs> little sidekick, Ed! <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. oh, man, I actually endorse this now. Go on, Ed. <laughs> You know what, Nikki? You know what? I'm, I'm I am on. the devil on Ben's shoulder, and you know what? There's fuck all you can do about it, Nikki. Do you know why? Do you know why? Because you're cowards, Nikki. None of you will vote for this. <laughs> Five required. Sorry, six required. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm convinced Ben. Ben, we should vote. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't vote. tap me. Don't tap me. Apparently, there is a chef board. one, so maybe that's Stephen. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, uh. You remember, guys, tomorrow is oh, no, the day cowards. you guys need oh, to do oh, this. No, we don't want to do that. You cowards, guys need to a lot of you. You can't <laughs> handle the truth. Hey, 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 you, you listen here, patrons say the bullshit. I voted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll correct that. Cowards, most of you. <laughs> <laughs> Bringing the day to a close. I will take away your sainthood. I Aero gave is executed. I can take it away. Dies. <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. The game continues. Everyone goes to sleep. This is uh, shaping up perfectly. Don't worry, I'll drag these other two, Ed. Oh yeah, sure. Did you did you enjoy it, Steve? Was it good enough for you? Oh, it was, it was great. You know what? We've um, got, uh, we've got we absolutely... Ben's doing that. <laughs> <We've got laughs> important. A very important question for you, um, and yep. this is a slightly meme question, and you will just have to cope with it. How do you feel about mint? <laughs> mint? Yeah, the flavour. Or the herb, depending mint. on your point of view. I, I heard I heard this Steve is a bank, Steve is a mint conversation, if that's what you're referring to. No, well, yeah, that was relating but, uh, to I love, else. Yeah, I love mint. There we go. You heard it here first, people. Mint, oh, wow. Steve is on... Sassy. Steve's yeah, on the correct side in the, the mint war. Sassy my my mum used first... to grow, grow sorry, mint. In the, my mum used to grow mint in the garden. We'd have fresh mint on now on our pasta. It was beautiful. Oh nice. But, we, um, we do that what, with chives. Um, oh, we grow chives, and because uh, I'm a big omelet enthusiast, can't beat chives on egg. Um, there is, yeah, there is a it's, first it's time different. chat from Sassy in chat here asking, um, are there any plans to ever bring out Blum the Clock Tower in other languages? The answer to that is yes, 100%. Once we've got the English language version out, that is definitely something that we'll be doing, and I'm pretty sure German will be one of them. Right, with that answered, let's... What, um, what's the plan? What are, what are you going to show The Undertaker? Well, I, I'm I, interested Maya. in It's got to be Maya, right? Because in, in the world that we're creating, yeah, first of all, there's a Chef one. Yep. Um, yeah. And that's Andrew P and Noel the Imp, right? Um, the the Undertaker so far has had... If he really is the Imp bluffing his Undertaker, he's had a free ride, right? The Virgin yep. killed himself and he learned Virgin. No one's executed. Then one of the two people very publicly claiming to be a mayor is executed and he learns mayor. That, like, yeah. that, that's such a great imp world yeah. right there. It writes itself, basically. Yeah, yeah. so if we get yeah, I, jams I agree. and then see where we're at in terms of who we want to kill. Yep, yeah. let's let's go to speak to jams. All right, jams. Who do you want to protect? I'm on Dakota for now. Dakota it is, thank you. Yep. Yeah. 
that Jam's back. Jam's doesn't need to hear this. Um, <laughs> uh, I think I think we sink a kill tonight. I'd be. Where are we? Um, I think either sink a kill because that makes a lot of sense for uh, for the imp attacking the fortune teller. Um, or get rid of the investigator because the investigator I think is pretty trusted having the recluse ping. Or Jams. Um, we could actually kill the monk. I don't know what's what's most fun. What do you think? I think we I think we sink a kill and and have Jams because Dakota especially Dakota is gonna let's go see what Dakota picks. But if she chooses Noel and we say yes, we sink a kill. Yeah. Alright. Alright. Let's do it. Dakota. Still alive. Still picking twos. Who's it gonna be? This is actually kind of a hard choice. Let's go Ekin and Bejbo. So you choose Ekin and Bejbo and you learn that no. Neither of them are the demon. Perfect. Follow me somewhere. Okay. Uh, I still think we sink the kill. Yeah, I'm not against that. Okay. Let's go see Noel and say Mayor. Well, hello. No. The the longer I stay alive, the more I believe it's an atheist game. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, well, I'm here to tell you, and again, this is going to truly shock you, uh, that Eero was in fact the mayor. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Very I'm welcome. so happy about this. <laughs> All right. So I think at the moment our evil team that we're trying to sell oh then again mm. yeah I think the, the evil team that we're selling is Noel, Aero, Nikki right? Um, the better yeah I mean frankly either of Aero and Ivy Noel and Nikki is the evil team we're currently selling yeah I think it's either it's either Noel the demon th throwing Aero his minion a bone, or it's Noel the demon throwing. Yeah, I know what I th I know what I mean. I know what I mean. <laughs> I I mean either either that or it's uh, Noel the Scarlet Woman throwing his demon Ivy under the bus. It works always round. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Let's let's wake these guys up. What do what fund do I have to donate to for an atheist game with Sully or Adam as atheist? Oh, what's the money that I am currently saving up to have John assassinated? Uh, by all means, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> do, do, do donate. Let's go. Uh, all right. Good morning, everybody. Good. It's a very good morning because there were no deaths in the night. By the way, Ooh. I have a very important question that I was going to ask yesterday, but I forgot to ask yesterday. Go for it. How is it? I oh, know this is to the town, but you, you're welcome <laughs> to. I mean, as people who are part of. Uh, anyway, um, how is it an atheist game? The day before yesterday, it felt like a Legion game with all that voting. Like, what's <laughs> going on, guys? <laughs> what are we doing? Bejbo, can we can we go and have a uh, a cabal with exactly gambling? Yeah, I... sure. Wait, never mind. I don't want to join that. What's up, Paul? Yeah. Hi, Bejbo. Hi, Dakota. So, I have solved the game as long as there's not a poisoner. Of course you have. So here's here's the deal. Day one, gambling to peer, no. Day two, Cosmo Ivy, yes. Cosmo is dead. Day three, Bejbo Jams, no. Day four, Bejbo Ekin, no. That leaves Andrew P, who is the recluse, um, been the recluse, been pinged as the recluse by someone who, uh, you know, by someone who's got a no. And this outside account confirmed. Yes. Um, who is the other, there's a drunk, there has to be a drunk. 
Um, Noel yeah. is the Undertaker, the, you know, that whatever. So it literally has to be Noel or Ivy. One is my red herring, unless Cosmo, Cosmo is my red herring for whatever reason. Um, and one of them is the demon. I think is atheist. I think these two shitheads above me are like just evil. Uh, not you, Gambling and Bejbo, the other two shitheads above you. Um, yeah, careful with your replacement there, Dakota. Yeah, I'm at the bottom, so it doesn't really work. The, the, the two shitheads at the very top of the grouping. Um, I say that of all Steve my love. Steve and Andrew, that's a bit rude. I, I say that all my love. <laughs> okay. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, let's kill Ivy today, Noel tomorrow, and then Ben the last day. Yeah. Okay. I. Is there any pushback against today. that? I can build a world that consists of Bejbo, Spy, Librarian, Ping. Of... I, sorry, Bejbo. I, I know we keep on coming back to this, but this it's the fun. only way to make it. To my mind, it's the only way to make it not an atheist game. You have to be the spy. Okay, because that's fine. Because that's the only way that other information lines up. Uh, in that world, we have a free-floating uh, drunk token. You could be drunk. At that point, Nikki is then obviously evil. Um, I don't know why he gets killed at night unless A, Star Pass, or it is... So it's because so because be of the fact that like Because of the fact that Atheist provides an alternate win condition to evil... I think it would be valid, and we've got some brain bendy players around this table. It is valid for the evil team to kill off their own players in order to sell an atheist game. It's like yeah. it's like setting up the good twin. Like you, you can go all out on that if you want to. Gambling, can I push back on me being drunk real quick? Go for it. If I am the drunk, right? Uh, mm -hmm. There has been no indication that I am the drunk. Now, Ben and Ed and, uh, and Steve don't have to give me any indication on the drunk. That's a totally reasonable play. However, I feel like I have played with Ben and Ed enough to know that if the the good team was in a bind, which we seem to be in, and the drunk hasn't gotten any, uh, ed like any inkling that they're the drunk, they would, out of the kindness of their dead cold hearts, give us... Oh no, Discord, Discord died at the wrong moment. No, wrong, but uh, that's the only way I would push back on the drunk being. Yeah. I will also note uh, that a big part of my logic here, as I've said, relies on Bejbo being the spy. Which I uh, don't which see I do that not, which, which, which I do not believe because uh, I have a monk claim that I believe uh, uh, and we had just a failed night death. So unless specifically it would, so basically the only evil team I can make possibly work uh, is Bejbo spy. Bejbo Bej spy. So is, 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 is the monk Nikki jammed? evil and jams. I no. don't yeah, need to I, tell you that. No, no, no. Hey, real quick, real quick, real quick. I think that a worldview of Jams, Nikki, and Ivy could make sense. Nikki and Ivy? Yes, because look, what if what if Arrow is the mayor? Ivy is evil. Because with my pain, right? Jams is a minion. And Nikki was also a minion, just throwing some some bullshit. Uh, oh, this is fine. Oh, wait, why can't we? Is Jams the washerwoman or the monk? What's going on? Jams is the chef. Jams, dear God, guys. Okay, um, because Bejbo is either the spy Sorry, guys, or well, you're out of time. Uh, Ivy, real quick. Oh, uh, no, backstab alley. Real slow. Uh, too yeah, slow. Like a whole day. Welcome back, yep. everyone. We uh, we are. This has been a an uncommonly long affair, so I'm going to keep up, up a merry pace. Uh, eight players alive. Take a minute, then we'll open nominations. Jim, Jim, yeah? please. If you do not feel comfortable, that is fine. But are you comfortable telling me what your role is right now? I'm the washerwoman. I've okay. been public about that. Cool. Great. Did you see me um, as the atheist? No. Cool. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Wonderful. Real quick. Real quick, I, I have this in my brain. I need to get it out uh, into the world before I forget it. I'm so sorry. Um, I, I am the fortune teller. I feel it's fine giving out this information now because here it is, right? Uh, to peer in gambling, no. Cosmo Ivy, yes. Bejbo uh, Jams, no. Bejbo Ekin, yes. Yeah. Or no, sorry. So the only people I got a ping on was Ivy and Cosmo. Cosmo's dead. Andrew P and Noel have not been checked, but do not have pings. Andrew is claiming to be the recluse. So, in my worldview, we nominate Ivy today. We nominate Noel tomorrow. We nominate Ben, ben the next day. We win regardless. 
Uh, I would like to amend that. Sure. Uh, can we nominate me and then nominate you? Oh, no. Why would you? What? Why would you want to nominate me before Noel? Because I don't have info that points at Noel. Nominations are open. Yeah. That, that's have a nomination, fine. please. Go for it. Um, Ed has been following me around town, throwing a copy of Richard Dawkins' The God Illusion at me, uh, and I'm tired of it, and I would like to see him dead uh, because of this. Is it, uh, is my, my actual reason is I have... A, this is not just a meme nomination, although I did look up the title of Richard Dawkins' books just to keep that in, but... Um, <laughs> So I'm the Undertaker, and everything is so public now that it's not very helpful. I've been the Undertaker the uh, the whole time. I was shown that Arrow was the mayor, um, which I actually, because of that, believe that we've got the double mayor situation. I think that's actually what's happened. Uh, I was also the only thing that I've learned is gambling's the virgin, and Arrow, the publicly claimed mayor, is the mayor. So I think I think we do it. I think let's go for it. Cowards, all of you. <laughs> so is this the one where we all defend ourselves at the same time? Yeah, you've got to do it one word at a time, I believe, is what you said. Okay, so so I'll, I'll kick us off, shall I? <laughs> Noel... Is... Not... Very... Trustworthy... Or... Human... <laughs> and... <laughs> Frankly, surprisingly, surprisingly, <laughs> <laughs> always despicably evil. Hey, there we go. Evil, not that human. Worked, that, that worked a lot better than Mining Capelli's accusation. <laughs> All right, so uh, just four votes required today to kill Yon Storyteller. Here we go. Are we doing this? Come on, you cowards. I, mean, I want to, know, but I don't want to waste a ghost right now. Because the only evil tomorrow. team, the only evil team right. left is the virgin. Like it. It. Yeah. Oh, come <laughs> on. Three is not enough. Cowards. I mean, I'm I, mean I can I only agree somebody. with that statement. <laughs> uh, tell us why, Ivy. Uh, this is a good idea, and we should do it. Okay, four required. So here's the question. Are the storytellers going to kill Noel or show Noel an evil token? Or show so, me the fucking mayor. <laughs> That's I, what I'm I, expecting. <laughs> I strongly suspect that Jack is so currently is crying. Enough? Into Siri. Because I mean, it's like it, 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 a mayor than a mayor. Here's the thing, right? I'm so here, obviously good storytellers. Yo, storytellers, I, yes. I want you to kill Noel. Because if, because like, right, look, here's the thing. If you, if you, if you kill Noel, then in my worldview, uh, it's just you guys. So go ahead, kill Noel. Have fun with that. <laughs> Come at me, I dare you. I dare <laughs> you. We don't, we it has really, just occurred to me, to that. In, a, in, a, in potential atheist games, I get to defend ourselves. You know what? We made, I made you drunk, Dakota. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> <laughs> I, I I actually have a question Dude. for Aaron. Um, Aaron, you gave me Butler before you pivoted back to Mayor. Why is that? Uh, because I didn't want to double claim a townsfolk, and I thought Butler would be the safest pick because it's usually the least likely to be put in a game of trouble brewing with an atheist. Um, but that's that's the only reason I went for it. Played a lot of trouble brewings with atheists, have you, Aaron? I was gonna say. Oh yeah, 100%. 100%. <laughs> All right. Well, I think it's unlikely you're going to beat the 7, so I'll bring it to a close in 3 2 1. Ivy is executed and dies. The game continues. Everyone goes to sleep. Have you seen the suggestion from Capelli in chat? I have ben. not. What is it? It's not for tonight, but like later um, kill someone at night and make Andrew the good imp. Oh my god, that would be incredible. We are, def <laughs> we are definitely doing that. Oh, what? We are doing it what? now. We're going to no. kill Noel. We're going to kill no, Noel. No, it can't be tonight. Ben. can't be tonight. <laughs> no, but it ben. can because... 
Isn't that just going to be? They just ex oh, yeah, then they, yeah, yeah, then they know it's yeah. they execute they execute Andrew and they know it's um yeah yeah they know that it's an atheist game because the game didn't end. All right, I think we go to jams. I'm, I'm not saying we go I'm not to saying don't do it. I'm I'm not we, saying yeah, don't do, do it. I'm just three, saying right. thi I'm just saying think about it first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, right, we go to jams. We go to Dakota. Then we decide who dies based on what Dakota has learned. If Dakota picks jams in someone. We say yes and kill Noel and make it look like a final star pass. If Dakota picks Noel and someone, we say yes and kill someone else and set Noel up as the imp. Are you happy with that? I'm on board with that. Yeah, Steve? I would love to kill Noel tonight, but I think that would actually be a mistake, so go for it. Okay, all right, well, let's, well tell you what, let's go speak to Jams first. Hello, Jams. Who would you like to protect tonight? Andrew P, please. Andrew P, it is. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, I don't know why I jumped down here because we're just going straight to Dakota. Mr. Dakota, who would you like to check out? Real quick question. Mm -hmm. Can I choose dead players? Of course. Mm -hmm. Myself and gambling, please. Yourself and gambling. And you learn that no, neither of you are the demon. That's not the answer I wanted. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Um, I think we now kill Depeer, as was suggested last night. Because again, he's flying under the radar. Nobody suspects to appear. Um, I think most people trust them. That's something that a demon will probably do at this point. Well, it's the the outed fortune teller and outed undertaker are quite difficult at this point. To be fair. Yeah, that's um, true. Maybe we should kill Dakota. Well, then. Well, we can't think, now. I was going to say I don't think. In, yeah, that's true. Yeah, and also I don't think an imp would try and kill the same person two nights in a row and fail twice in a veteran true. game. So I think at this point, I, they're, is they're probably looking. Sorry. I was going to say, they're just looking for um, monks at this point, because they know yeah. there is one. Our supposed evil players. Yeah. Do you think Jam... I think Jams has been flying... Jams is repeatedly claiming Jams... Washerwoman does sound yeah. kind of monkish, right? Kind of, but... I mean, yeah. It... This does tally with um, Noel being the demon and Jams being a minion that's claiming monk and protecting Dakota, to be fair. Yeah. Okay, look, I think I think we killed Tapir. I think it's our best shot right now. Um, yeah. You happy with that? Better. Steve? Um, Tapir seems pretty trusted. And the... I am imagining that the good team, if they do believe... Those who do believe that there is an evil team also now believe that the Poisoner is dead. Um, so... It's... It's much of a muchness. Like, do you, if you if you were the imp, would you kill the trusted player that has no more ability, or would you kill the player that is continuing to get information each night but might have and, been poisoned? And looks more so, and more suspicious the longer they survive. I think is. The yeah, thing. I yeah. I am fine with I'm fine with. Well, let's, yeah, let's kill let's well, the other thing. To Noel and then kill Tapir because I don't think we can take yep. much longer without it seeming obviously like an atheist game this night. What are we telling Noel? Uh, we're gonna tell Noel uh, Mayer. Because this is Noel the Demon trying to sell an atheist world. Fair. You happy with that? Mm-hmm. All our eggs are in that basket now. <sighs> hey, Noel. Hello? How's it going? Um, I've been Fengu jumped. I'm the Fengu now. We're playing s &B. Oh, no, not at all. Uh, we're just here to tell you that yesterday you executed the mayor. Of course we did. Yeah. I believe it. I believe that I have gotten true information the past two nights. That's what I think. You don't think it's possible that you're just the drunk? Nope. Nope. I think I'm getting good information. Are you sure you're not an imp trying to convince everyone that it's an atheist game? I mean, hey, break the rules and turn me into the imp and I'll play for the evil team, baby. Okay. <laughs> keep that in mind. Thank you. <laughs> Alright. Fantastic. Uh, let's wake everyone up. Yep. Good news, everyone. 
Well, Ivy's first of all, good morning, everyone. Tapir died in the night. Okay, go for it, Noel. Ivy's the mayor. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, you don't say. I do. I do. I think I've got true information. Past two nights. <laughs> would you like to know my? Would you like to know my information, knowing it might not necessarily help? Going in. Uh, last night I picked myself in gambling and got a no. Um, obviously, if I, you think I'm evil, then you know you don't believe that. Um, but that just proves to me that this is probably a. An atheist game, or Wait. Noel. Either it's either an atheist game or Noel is the demon. That's the only worldview that works for me. Wait, I'm sorry. You picked yourself in the confirmed version. Yes. I I am now willing to spend my ghost vote on this atheist thing. But I think like, we've now reached well, a point where we wait, can wait. we can play through to final three and maximize our maximize our odds. But there is mm. too much BS going on. If I that I can't. The, the evil team has either gone out of their way from before they could possibly have spoken to each other to set up an atheist game or atheist game. And let me, let me just oh, clarify okay. it. Let me just clarify it. I picked myself in gambling because like that is the only way for me to have tested if I am sober. <clears throat> obviously, obviously, like if no matter what, if I was drunk, they could just give me a no. But that is the only way that I could have convinced myself I was sober. I think I'm sober. I think it's an atheist game. I am voting on Ben and Ben only. You have well, two hold minutes hold before nominations okay. are open. As, 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 much as, as, sorry, as much um, as I fully agree with the whole, let's go after the storytellers, because yeah, that is my whole role. Um, I, I will um, try and help um, Town Solve and yeah, stuff like that. Um, realistically, what we need to be doing because we, we, we still need to wait until Final 3 before we go after the storytellers, okay? Is we need to be making sure that we prove, uh, we, we exhaust all options. Now at this point, okay, we've got a double claim between Ivy and Arrow, and you've got me claiming Atheist. So you as a town need to dis determine whether or not I am evil, okay? And then if all worldviews around me being evil can't work, then make sure that you can check through all worldviews about me being drunk. Once that's exhausted, uh, then then we're pretty much sure. I think our best execution as a town is to execute Noel because he's also backing up now that it's an atheist game. Um, because the only other way in which it's not an atheist game is for Noel to have been poisoned last night. Uh, now, if, if you've got an evil between Ivy and Arrow and it's not an atheist game, then where is the poisoner? Uh, Nikki, are you willing to say who you spoke to day one? Oh shit! Uh, I spoke to Ivy, then Jams, then to Peer, um, and I think Bejbo. I claimed atheist to all of them. Yeah. Nomination. Can, uh, can we? Uh, can can we say kill... one thing? Sorry. Uh, go. That's it. Yeah, just, just to add to this series of bizarre information in this game, I'm just going to out. Uh, I was the Raven Keeper. Uh, there was no reason for me to die that night that I died, uh, given the amount of suspicion I had. Uh, I chose Nikki, uh, and I got the spy. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, 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 oh, are nominations man. open? Yep. Uh, bear, bear in mind, bear in mind that means that either we've had an extremely lucky poisoner, specifically, or the evil team is one of Ivy and Arrow, Nikki and Cosmo. Think that through the way through. Wait, let's look at who's dead. Uh... Yeah, we're we're all dead. That's that... kind of my point. Can yeah. we? So it's, can it's we just kill... weird. Second call for nominations. Can we kill me or Bej? But figure out this drunk ping thing. I, w I just want to really see what Noel sees. Like, I think if Noel was good, it matters. Justin I think I think it's too game. late for me to get anything that's useful because we've talked about it publicly yeah. so right. much. Best they can tell me whatever Noel. they want. Seeing as he just got two mares. Sorry, was that a nomination? <laughs> yeah. Bejbo nominates who? Noel. Okay, tell us why, Bejbo. So here is the issue. If Assuming it's not an atheist game for the moment, because Nikki would have to be evil, there can't be the poisoner and the demon 
for Noel to get wrong info on both mayors, so Noel would just be evil. So I do want to execute Noel, and if that doesn't end the game, then I totally trust Nikki. Um, actually, Eric can be the spy. Noel's response, please. I mean, I'm the Undertaker. I'm getting things that are weird. Uh, if you really want to kill me today, that's fine. I really don't care. Like, if if this world is true, then like my minions are gone. I don't have a Scarlet Woman. I'll give it up. Whatever. But I I just think it's an atheist game. I believe Nikki and someone should uh, nominate the storytellers after this. If you want to eliminate me to be more confident, go right ahead. Three votes required. Man, so much, so much storyteller hate. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to give you guys a good time. There's no need for this. Man. Hmm. I'm not what? trying to give you a good time. I hate all of you. You should, you should kill me right now. <laughs> Three votes <laughs> is enough. Can no someone one. nominate... Let's go for Ben. Let's go back for Ben. Someone nominate Ben on my behalf, please, and pass it to me. Nope. Who wants to be a hero? Nah, not tonight. Final not call. happening. Oh, God. So what, oh. what exactly is clearing it. Dakota? What's Three. clearing Dakota? Do we oh. know? Nothing. Jams nominates no. the storytellers. Ooh, just <laughs> inside. Don't make Jams. Oh. <laughs> that was why. Um, honestly, because I worry that I might die and I wanted to nominate you all before I do, because I do genuinely believe 100% without a doubt in my mind that it is an atheist game. Um, and I am more than happy to let somebody else take up the honors on another day, but I just wanted to oh. nominate it for it to be on the record. Is it because well, you watch Will confirm me? <laughs> no. My response to that is, please do nominate and execute us on the final day, because I would love to be able to upload to YouTube a video showing just how much the atheist <laughs> can screw up a group of veterans <laughs> in the simplest script imaginable. Four votes required. <laughs> I can imagine a simpler script on TV, but I get your point. <laughs> also, I should add, no you. On behalf of chat. <laughs> All you still hey. know about. Uh, there are two votes, chat. and therefore Jams decided to be executed instead. Yep. Two is not enough. Final call. Oh my god, seconds. that would be so fun. <laughs> there it is. Noel is executed and dies. The game continues. Everybody goes to sleep. What a show. Ah. Dies where they belong. So, are we doing it, guys? Can we do it? Um, I mean, I'm are you like, talking about the um, the good imp? Hmm. I think it's I think it's too hard of a sell. I think it would be fun, but the fact that mm -hmm. e Nikki is suspected as in a in a non atheist world, Nikki is evil, and either Ivy or Arrow is evil. And for the recluse to become the good imp, that would require the demon suiciding on the final night in the hope that the storyteller would make the recluse the good imp so i think i think it would be fun but i think it would be a very hard sell i, I don't i personally don't mind the the good team winning uh for the atheist opening um but i'm open to, to let's let's yeah go I'm, open, I'm, op I'm open to a counter argument if you've yeah, got let's, um, let's go speak to jams and see who jams you've got a better first, idea and then we'll reconvene yeah. Okay, Jams, who's it going to be? Hi. Um, <laughs> Andrew P, please. Andrew P, it is. Thank you. Yep. <sighs> Do you know what? I just, I feel like at this point, However, the tower, yeah, that's really, <laughs> that is really tempting, right? That's super juicy. And, and also, I mean, that Jam really <laughs> thinks that we're going to do what we were talking about doing and therefore he's protecting the recluse. <laughs> just. I, th I think um, at this point, most of the town thinks that it's an atheist game. Those that don't seem to think that Dakota is potentially evil. I say we just kill Dakota, tell Andrew P that he's a he's a good imp, and just it, it won't be boring. Do you know what I mean? Which is really the purpose. <laughs> That's why we're here <laughs> to, for entertainment. All right, let's just do Ed, it, right? Ed, Ed, mm -hmm. you've got a, you've got a demon and an angel on your shoulder. What's the call? <laughs> So <laughs> I'm just trying to. I I just need to come up with a world where it works and it's and I, I think, and I think like, you should it, read chat. Me <laughs> I, I think you just read chat. 
<laughs> I mean, yes, but chat has always been the demon um, <laughs> on everyone's shoulder. Um, chat can't be trusted with uh, with with balance. They're trusted with chaos. Um, is there a world where this works? Yeah. If Noel's was... just a drunk, Dirt Coat is evil. <clears throat> Nikki and one of Ivy or Arrow all Nikki works. Nikki was poisoned on night one. Nikki is the spy. Uh, it doesn't matter and... who the other... yeah. Nikki is the spy. Doesn't matter who the others are. Cosmo gets true info yeah, to PSC's totally, recluse. Totally it totally works. Totally yeah. Doable. Yep. Right. Let's do it. Everyone wakes up. All right. Cool. Oh, you know, oh, it's Andrew on, first. No, no, Andrew no, no, first. Yeah, we need to go speak to Andrew first. Yeah. Oh. Oh, indeed, Andrew. <laughs> we are we are here to inform you uh, that you are the imp. You are good. <laughs> okay. All right, have fun with that. Um, just before, just before we go on. So the other thing we need to bear in mind is if we've made Andrew into the good imp, they mm -hmm. bear in mind they're going down to four living players. Um, they they need to sleep today. Yeah. Let Andrew kill himself and then execute the storytellers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because otherwise there is a living imp which is preserving the game. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's um, wake everyone up. Let's see what happens. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Uh, Dakota died in the night. Four players left alive. Yeah, well, okay. you can tell oh. that Ben's not <laughs> reading chat because Dakota <laughs> was. <laughs> The only imp in a lot of people's uh, words in chat. That was the uh, only possible imp candidate last so... time all of our POV. To be fair, most of those theories were based around the idea that the Poisoner had been dead since Nights 2 and three people had been poisoned yeah. for most of the game. Yeah. And so, I, do uh, have a, I do have an important question for Andrew, because this yeah. has come up a lot. Did yeah. you get Star Pass 2? Are you suddenly the good imp? I have been informed that I am the imp and I am good. Question. I, I don't think I believe it, but I we have four questions. players left, so we could That's just test amazing. it. No, this is this is uh, a so atheist much. play. Kill yeah. all storytellers. No, no, no. But the, here's no. Here's the fun thing, though, that we could do here is if we go to sleep, we can let Andrew just kill for fun. Like I think. Oh, yeah. 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 I think yeah. if we do that, they say, "Oh, they, that was an obvious hit that it was an atheist, and we kill somebody as well, and then we lose." <laughs> we would still have an atheist play. Uh, I have a question. I have a question for the storytellers. Uh, sure. If it is an atheist game and there is still somehow a demon in play, do we have to kill the demon or can we just kill the storytellers? Uh, for good, for good to win, uh, you just have to you just have to kill the atheist. Uh, sorry, kill the I'm storyteller. Dead. Storytellers. <laughs> ben, nice Probably try. Yeah, yeah. I'm already dead. Really I killed suppose me. you would call the storyteller the theist in this scenario. Kill the theist. I mean, is there any reason to not just kill me at that point? Uh, the problem Well, you should is... kill yourself in the night so that we wake up on three. Yeah, because, I mean, it's either I'm the demon or they're lying, and then either way, it doesn't matter. I mean, I guess Here's they could... the problem. Uh, we're four, I, I, I just, I just don't to... really see any reason to delay it if we're pretty confident that it's an atheist. Yeah. Why not just thing. do it now? I'm still to be clear, not I'm on this I'm... I almost oh, didn't want to bring it up, because I don't really I... believe it. Sorry, so, uh, Jams, who did you, who did you protect last night? Oh, you're just going to out me like that? Yeah. Oh, what? oh wow. I protected Andrew P because he's confirmed good as the only outsider claim in the town. Who did you protect on the no kill night? Dakota. Yeah. Hold on. Okay. Um, it's one hundred percent an atheist game. I just think it would be really funny <laughs> to protect Andrew P tonight and see who dies. Because if Andrew P kills himself, right? Andrew P kills yeah. himself. I I just think it would be funny. That's all I'm saying. I'm sorry. I'm one hundred percent sure it's an atheist. Game. They're just gonna make us go to four again. Yeah. Can I ask yeah, but then we can kill them. Yeah. But we get more time with them. Ask you questions. Yes. Nick, yeah. Nick. Hello. Um, if a monk protects um, a recluse, can they catch a star pass? Uh, they're not a fangu. That's yes, uh, it's not harmful. Yeah. Uh, I would almost argue that recluse catching a star pass is good for the recluse. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm indifferent. <laughs> Can we just, I'll just go ahead and say <laughs> nobody's the demon, right? 
I think we it's, all it's... sleep. Andrew P, kill yourself tonight. And then Got if, it. If we, and if you're still alive, and the game's still Andrew going. Andrew doesn't nominate. I, I want to I wanna see the. Alright, we'll do that. I'll, I'll nominate Storyteller myself tomorrow if need be. Are we gonna do the just... Come at me, you cowards. Come at me. <laughs> oh my just god. Kill, they'll just kill oh. another person and we'll lose the game. What? Bring no, it. no, 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 no. That's, that's not right. how it works. That's not how it works. Oh. If they choose to make us lose, that's on them. They, they okay, can tell okay, wait, hang on, hang on, just one second. second Here's call. what I'm worried about. Um, the storytellers can break the rules as much as they like. We are very confident that it is, I, I would say, we are very confident that's an atheist game, and we have the golden opportunity, after this funny thing happened to Andrew, to just end the game right now. I, can, I don't think for sure that they would do this, but I am worried that they'd be like, you had your chance, you were very certain, and you chose not to do it, especially since we're running out of literal time, as it's almost the end of the two hour block. I would say, let's yeah. just, I'll, okay. I'll do it. No. Dance will no. nominate no. the storytellers. Guys, remember how was we said we were going to do this? There, sorry? It yeah. was. Okay, yeah. Jams, tell us why. Well, remember how we said uh, we were going to do I'm this? I'm not on board with doing Jams, it today. Jams' though. accusation, please. Okay, uh, it's eight minutes to what should be the end of the game, as I do think it would be quite funny to see what happens if I protect Andrew P in the night, just because, you know, there's a lot of funny things that they could do with that. Content, 100%. But I also want to acknowledge and respect people's time right now. I am 100% sure that it is, in fact, an atheist game. I do not believe that anyone alive is actually the evil demon in any world. I also think, um, yeah, this would be fun, but... Again, I respect that not everybody is 100% ready to commit to that. That's okay. Um, and yeah, bring it, you three evil men that have been visiting my cottage every night. All right. Two I, required. yeah. Go on, go on, Steve. I, 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 I think James. I think I think James has really got it here. Um, I think um, yeah, James has James has played a great game. Uh, worked uh, <laughs> worked the room, got all got all the information, and figured it figured it out. Like it, it's. This is an atheist game, and you should you should kill the storyteller and me first. What if Jim, <laughs> can I just me, can, can I just, then, can I just add then, to that that defense? Me then like? Ed then Ben, save the best to last. Sorry, go for it, Ed. Uh, once you've killed Stephen, I would point out that it. I think it's the natural state of townsfolk of Ravenswood Bluff that they kneel, kneel before you. <laughs> <your gods. laughs> The lure, the lure of thinking you control your own destiny. It's an illusion. We have everything bound before us, peons. We have the strongest opportunity to nerf Ed right now. And we get a treefer. <laughs> Hands up, town. Let's get this done. Yeah. What, 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 oh. if, what if they made On the other Andrew hand... The, what if they made Andrew wrong. the good demon and then made Jams the evil demon? What if Jams is just going to win right here? Oh, God. Okay. So be would it. fucking deserve it, is what I but, would say. But as, as, as I said in night chat, so I believe well. that that would fall pretty heavily within the realms of you can, but congratulations, you've made the game completely unsolvable for town. That's a choice that Estes can do. I don't you disagree with you, gambling. <laughs> okay, seven <laughs> is enough. Uh, I don't. I was, I was... That I was don't... lying. You, you've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> you've made, you've made a terrible mistake. Final, final call for nominations. Guys, I have uh, something to tell you all. Uh, I'm not the atheist. You, you needed, you needed to kill Ben before Stephen. It's really <laughs> just. We're just gonna get the Steve pass now in the night. <laughs> well, Jams has been executed and dies. The game is certainly ending now. And I would just like Sorry. to well, well oh, what jammed. can I say? That was incredible. Congratulations. Not Sorry, just uh, Ben. Sorry. Uh, yeah, we've, we've, been we, we've been executed. We've been executed. Am I actually the storyteller all along? You are, yeah. That's the twist. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Congratulations go to the evil team, which consisted of Nikki. Mr. Kota, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Congratulations <laughs> to all of you as the good team. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I won as a good demon. <laughs> yeah, won as a good demon. A living good demon. Yes. yes. Andrew Beautiful. is proof. Andrew is proof that you can rehabilitate demons. And Jabs is dead. And Ben just <laughs> tricked me into losing five years off of my life for a few seconds there too. Oh, um, oh Ben, just just because we still can, can you just kill the other three for us? Yeah. <laughs> ben, John, <laughs> you have no power here. You have no power here. I thought, I thought we killed them. 
<laughs> Darn it. Having two, two mayors was really the nail in the coffin for me. I just thought that was too good of an opportunity. And they both sounded oh so God. good. I, I was me I being was alive to, to see those two. Was, that was the additional part for me personally. Oh, I love like, that. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, okay, I, sure. Why not? If you guys had said that uh, even an atheist game, a double mayor can still get a mayor win, then. I would have I would have dedicated my game to trying to engineer that specific <laughs> scenario. The moment you said no to that, uh, it's so sad. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I've got to say uh, that's that's one of the most fun games I've played, just because it was really silly. I think uh, I had a head of one. I don't know. I don't know what you mean. We took that absolutely seriously. <laughs> Tell you what, that was a really really great example game for the atheist though. Um, just so many, so many questions were asked and answered during that game. Um, just yeah, really great, great sample game for YouTube. So well done, everyone. And I think really um, the, the 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 great thing about that game is that it show it's exactly how you as the storyteller want an atheist game to go, and it's exactly how you as a dungeon master want a D and D session to go. You want the players to have felt challenged. You want them to have at times felt like they weren't going to win. That the things that they thought were real weren't real. But ultimately you you want them to overcome and win in the end and that's yeah that's what happened i think so i don't know you might disagree but i think that was the perfect atheist game right there